Hello everyone, Torx here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install or replace a hard drive or solid state drive in a laptop PC. No matter how new you are to working with computers, you're in luck because this is really easy to do. Before we open this guy up, first make sure it's unplugged and the battery is removed. Each laptop has a slightly different method of doing this. Turn it upside down and locate the screws that will release the door to expose the drive. Again, different models will have different numbers and locations of screws. This is an HP Pavilion G6 2233 NR, which luckily only has one in the center, though most notebooks will have more than that. Once all the screws to the door are completely out, slide it down, then lift it out. In some cases, the method to opening your laptop may be a little different, but this is the most common scenario. Now locate the drive, it'll be pretty obvious where it is. In this notebook, it's placed in between a couple of rubber mounts, which are really quick and easy to take off, but in most cases, the drive will be screwed in. Regardless, once it's free to move, which this one already is, disconnect it. Most of the time, all you'll have to do is slide it backward, but in this case, the connectors are on a free wire, which you can simply pull off. There's no locks on it or anything you have to worry about. Again, you literally just pull it off. Right there is the connector to the power supply, and there's the one to the motherboard. They'll usually, if not always, be attached to a single rail. Now that the old drive's out, guess what you gotta do? That's right, insert the new one. I'm using the same one just as an example. All you have to do is everything we just did to extract the previous drive, but in reverse. Once everything's in and secured, get the laptop closed closed up and screw it back together. That's it, the new drive is now installed and ready to be used. As long as it's functioning properly, your computer's BIOS will detect it. Now you just have to install your operating system, but that's for another video. So let's do this one more time, but with a different laptop model. This one's a Lenovo G5080. Um. Yeah, this was my sister's. It has one, two, three screws that have to be removed in order to get it open. Once they're all out, again, pull the door back to free it, then lift it off. There's our drive, which unlike the HP, will take a bit longer to extract. It's connected to these two metal plates with one, two, three, four screws. So all we have to do is unscrew all of them and then lift out the drive. I unscrewed three of them off camera, so you didn't have to watch me do that. Pull it backward and off of the connectors. As you can see in this notebook, they're not on a freely moving wire. Now we gotta get those plates off and onto the new drive we want to put in. There's four more screws. Get them all unscrewed, place the plates on the new drive, and then screw them onto that. It can be a little slippery, so just make sure everything's aligned and take your time. Now that our new drive is ready, line it up and then simply slide it onto the connectors. It'll fit into place. You'll know when you've done it right. All it's left to do now is secure cure it. So screw those plates back into the computer. And that's it. The drive has been replaced. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, give me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe for more computer how-tos, and if you have any requests, again, leave a comment. Have a good one. Torx out.